Hey everyone, in this video we're going to convert this Excel worksheet into a SharePoint list. Now whenever you're working with data in Excel, it's important before you get started that you convert that data into a table. So first I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut Control A to select all of my data here, and then I can either use a keyboard shortcut Control T or go up to insert and choose table to convert that range of data into a table. This is necessary before we go further. So I just confirmed that my range is correct. My table does have headers, so I'll leave that checked, and I click OK. That's all I have to do in Excel. I've got my data, it's in a table, I'm ready to go. So now I'm going to switch gears and go over to SharePoint, where I have a SharePoint site called Annual Fundraiser. And I want to create a list and start using my donor data that we just looked at uh, instead of in Excel, it, here in SharePoint, where my colleagues and I can collaborate on it uh, a little bit more efficiently. So I'm going to go to New on my home page of my site, and then choose List. From here, there's an option to create a list from Excel, uh, but also note that there's an option for those of you who have CSV data to import from CSV. So my example is Excel, so I'll choose that. And then I will upload that Excel file. I'll choose that sample donor data file that I had. We're uploading, it's analyzing the contents and figuring out what columns we need in our list. So we can see the default title column that comes with every SharePoint list or list in Microsoft list has been um, automatically assigned to my donor ID column. Now this works for me, uh, but if you don't want that title column to be your first column in your list, you could change it and choose a different one. However, notice that that changes it, and so now I don't see title over here anymore. I can only have one column replace that default title column. So I'm going to leave mine as it was, and then I'm just verifying before I go further that the data types match the data column. So yes, first name and last name are single line of text. Email, single line of text, that's good. Uh, I'll leave phone number that way as well. City, country. Now these could be choices. Let's go ahead and do one just as an example where I may not have that many countries represented in my data set, so I'll use choice to make it a little easier for future entry. And then I've got some currency uh, values here. So I see number has been pre-assigned to a, a financial amount, but I want to change that to currency to be a little more specific. Same with lifetime do donation amount here. So we'll go with currency, currency. And then I've got status, which is just active or inactive. So I'm going to change that to a choice. And then last donation date, Notice that this is coming in as a number, but I want to make sure I change this one especially to a date and time. And now that's showing as a, a legitimate date. So after I've made sure that all of my data types at the top match all of my data columns at the bottom, I'll choose Next. Now I name my list, so I'm going to call this, uh, let's say, Donor Data. Okay, and I will show it in my site navigation, and I'll Create. Okay, now depending on how many rows of data you're importing, this could take uh, a while, but you can see with a thousand rows, that didn't take very long at all. Alright, so it automatically refreshed for me when it finished, and now I can just go through and verify that everything looks normal. So I'm going to shorten up uh, this title column here, and then I'm just checking, I've got country as a choice, I can see my little icon there, I've got financial amounts which look properly formatted there. Uh, and I've got last donation. Now mine is uh, showing the times for last donation date, so I want to change that. I'm going to drop down my uh, date column header, go to column settings, choose edit, and then I'm going to turn off the toggle for include time, and save. Alright, and now we have 1,000 rows of data added to this SharePoint list. Now, uh, one interesting thing about the behavior in SharePoint lists or Microsoft lists is that it only loads 30 rows at a time. So as I'm scrolling, if you watch my scroll bar, you'll see that it keeps hitting the bottom but then jumps up because it's loading uh, as needed, basically. But my customer numbers, you can see, are nearing 1,000 as I keep going here. But that's how you can quickly and easily import existing data from your Excel worksheets into SharePoint.